welcome back to another video now. I'm back in mm, my career mode here. And um, I had to end the last video. Well, you'll have to watch it to find out why. But yeah, my guinea pig peed everywhere. That's what happened. But so, um, now this mate here is going to be um, my next goalie. Uh, he's just gonna play goal for us. And we can have him for five years. He'll still be considered a young player when his con- Which is, I think is pretty good. Like, and I'm gonna give him like a pay rise to 4k. <laughs> then, I don't know. 110k. Yes! I was really excited to get him in the squad. Great new goalie. And I can actually sell uh, my other goalies now, which is a good thing. So, okay. Jensen or Jensen can now play there. Corbett? What? He's. Oh no. He is not a good uh, central midfield, but he's got amazing weak foot. Um, would he do better? Yeah, he'll do amazing. Uh, just a centre back because he's got he's got amazing physical, a really good. Yeah, he'll do really good at um centre back. So if I just train him there, he'll, because what usually happens is is if you train a player to a position like because de depending on what uh because like once it happened with me where i think it was a player at left mid who was like 67 rated and then i trained him to a cam and he went up a lot in rating i i can't remember how much it was but it was like yeah, you cannot have the kit number eight anymore, being our new best centre back. Now I just realised I don't need to uh, uh, buy two new centre backs. I can just yeah, two weeks. That's really gonna be good. And he's got potential to be special. That's good as well. I think, so, I think, with this squad, we're going to do good in this league. So, I think, with having him at centre-back, and actually training him to centre-back, it'll be really good. Because then he could also play central midfield when we need a backup. But I will need to train... Uh, his, what's it called, <laughs> I'll need to train his uh, passing, so when I do put him into central midfield, uh, as a backup, it's not going, he's not going to do horrible, because right now his passing is like 59 or something, and that's not what, and that's not what I expect from a player who's meant to be able to play centre mid. Oh, it's even worse than that. Oh, aggression, 91. How did he not start off as a centre mid? Yeah, passing absolutely horrible. I would expect a defender to have a bit more heading accuracy, but that's fine. Uh, like, a short pass is horrible. I'll need, like, a defender needs a uh, short pass and long pass because they need to be able to pass it to the central midfielder so where does it say his jump power jump yeah jumping 82 so even his heading actually isn't great six foot three yeah this would be a great uh, uh central defender i don't know why he isn't one already oh how cool I, I want to keep that dude, but I'm going to sell him. 
one of our better players as well. False mate. I could get quite a bit of money off him and I also want the squad to be much younger. So with this starting lineup, it's not gonna be that bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I'm planning to play other. Ooh, I've I've been rejecting all the offers for him. So yeah, I'm gonna reject it again. I don't want to just suddenly accept it. Like, yes, he doesn't want to... S oh, you're leaving the club now. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that... The goalie that we got... Like... Uh, that was a bargain. Like, 1.5 million. I was expecting to have to pay, like, 3 million. <sighs> don't want him. Oh, it's tempting, but no, I'm going to block off as him, because he's still young, he still has lots of years to grow, like, uh, I would say the age where you can't grow anymore is 32 or 33, because I have got 31 year olds uh, higher rated in that season, so, can't say that, so, uh, okay. Charlie Kalman. Yeah, that'd be a great player to buy. And yeah, I've seen Kel. How much? 950. Gina, would you mind coming down? Got two massive signings. More massive for the club. This dude. What did I write down? This is potential 78. He's 18. I think even in the first season, uh, his potential is going to go up to like to an 80 something if he does good, of course. But yeah. And Kelman, like the, this would be a solid back line if I hadn't realised how good that youth play was in centre back. This dude's worth 1.7 mil. This, yeah, they're both worth the same, and he's a four year younger, so I'm getting him. And Charlie Kalman, I'm buying him as well. I need to check my funds first, of course, because no one likes low funds. Wait. Uh, I don't know how do I do this because look, it says sell two players and find two crucial players to replace them. Well, I was actually thinking to sell our old goalie, so that would have technically counted. This dude is 26, I can keep him for a bit longer. McGeady, no one's offered for him yet. This dude's 24? No, I'd rather play Curry over him. <laughs> I, I think... Would literally just putting a bowl of curry on the floor be more effective than actually using curry? I don't know. Because he really doesn't seem that good. Can I offer you 900k? Yeah, that's a deal. I have no 
plans of really using this Jack Diamond dude. Yeah, I'm just not. looking looking at his, his overall fifty eight overall at twenty. I, I was I was saying last episode I think that I might have used him in the future but like this is gonna be a multi episode thing. Um still important. Yeah. Yep, he'll be the same age as that goalie that we got. Do you want 2.5k a week and 75k signing bonus? Please accept. Yes! Another player into the club. Let's go. I think it should tell you which players you sold. Look, we've got so many players on the transfer list that I want to sell. Like this right dude. Oh, he would be great to sell. Maybe I think it would be a better, better idea. Oh, that's why people are offering for him. So I think it would be a better idea to like offer swaps for these players instead of trying to sell them. But I'll put uh, a new player into this. So, Kelman up there. Pretty decent front two, both under the age of 25, so they definitely have room to grow. Then, Gooch, 24, again, under the age of 25. Now, let's go and I, I, I do want a young. Um, main team and I think the best way to do that uh, I think this season it's definitely more about quality over quantity so if you look at how many players we have they're all like pretty much only two players I think one two three yeah four players only only four players are actually under 60, and that's Curry, who's 21. This player, who's 20, but he, oh god, I need to loan him out. Um, and I think the other two are here Taylor and Younger. Well, he is younger than most of our other players. <laughs> Uh, that is the worst stroke I will ever tell in my whole life. Why are all these young players running out of contract? Okay, there. I feel like you are asking for a bit much. What is that saying? Uh -huh. Thanks for that. I have to go with the recommended because they will literally hate me so much. Okay, so Curry's the only one. And actually, what strikers do we have? Like, we've got. So, yeah, Kalman. Even if when I sim games, he will be first team. I'll just loan Will Grig out every season, even though he's old and there's no point to loan him out. It's not actually that uncommon uh, seeing old players get loaned out. It's usually when um, a team, uh, they're squad isn't good enough, well, well, their squad is too good, so they decide to loan the older players out. Okay, uh, I guess, no. Oh, that's very good. Nah. He, 
he could actually be a 71 rated. I know that he's not going to be, but he could technically be 71 rated and have 72 potential. And the 72 potential is why he's so low valued because a lot of the values are based on potential, but I'll sign him just because he could be anywhere from 53 to 71, which means that he could, of course, be a 53, but he could be a 71, so yeah. And then I'm going to reject him. For some reason, my uh, thingy went up. Don't make me regret it. Okay, glad we agree. I need to keep the squad happy. So. I can imagine a, one of these was that player who could be anywhere from. Yeah, I think. No, this was the dude who I was saying, like, he could be really good, but he could be really bad. Promote. You're in. Oh, I want to promote him. But I can't promote this dude, and I'll lose the rest. So we have like three hundred pounds in the wage, well dollars, because I just went for dollars here. So yeah, so he can be. No one's there. Now, I think that uh, Jensen or Jensen's sharpness should go up after playing this game. But, like, the squad is pretty good, looking at it. Can we win? Hope we can. Oh, 2-2. Two -two. They score in the first minute. Then we score two goals, but then they score a goal. So, good game, must have been. I can imagine it was a good game, but yeah. So, I don't think Jensen should be bad sharpness this much anymore. He is now, yeah, about around 50. So, yeah, I'm just trying to keep their sharpness up because if you don't keep close sharpness up, um, their stats will go down as well. and then their rating will start to go down. I, I, even if you do have training um, every couple of days, players on the reserves will still go down in rating. Which is why it's technically better to only have um, a first team and a bench because none of their... Um, well, on the bench it will go, but not as much. Yes. Can now change his position. Okay, you'll get your chance. No, you won't. Joking. And he's on the 66 right now. What will he go to if he moves to a centre back? 69, yeah. Okay. Which one helps his passing the most? It would definitely be ball playing centre back or defender. <laughs> Those stats, I'm happy with them going up. How do you have a five star, four star centre back? But yep, yeah, he'll be going up to a 70. In two weeks look he's already gone up three this man is going to be insanely good and then once i train his passing which is probably the only reason that he would be such a bad um which is probably why he'll be such a bad midfielder wait what other positions would we be good at playing in so he wouldn't be good at playing there not good at playing there Yeah, I'm not good at playing. Uh, this dude as well is. I uh, I hate having these players, which are just, uh, which are 
they say that they're midfielders like this. When I got him, he was the CDM and centre mid. CDM and centre mid. But he's literally better at playing at centre back. I think that's something that EA really need to fix. Well, I guess it is kind of realistic because his main position is CDM. But, like, this. So this dude, it was fair because usually it's just a random, uh, it's just a random position that kind of fits what they're best at. So that's why he got a CDM because his defending was pretty good, his physical was pretty pretty good. Uh, so it's like okay, CDM. But really, he. But I, with players that are real life players, have been playing in in that position for years they shouldn't not be able to play in that position so i think ea ea are definitely not going to watch this video but if they were going to watch this video that would be my one request well one of many requests <laughs> i actually know a young player that peterborough have but I only ever get him in Football Manager. I don't even know if he's in FIFA. He's like 18. I'll just, uh, I'll just scout him and see what his rating actually is. What? In Football Manager, uh, this dude plays a left wing. But it does say that he is registered to play uh, centre mid, so that's fair. But, you know, I think some of the games are so different that uh, players like him, they, like, either though, you should be able to get his positions right, because of course, he actually plays there. The the game, well, of course, the people uh, who do both games, they're like, yeah, I think that's where he's played a lot of the season. So that's kind of what happens. So I'm going to go in for Holmes just because I really like this I think, Australian guy we've got currently. But he's aging and... Of course, like, even if then, oh, he's gone up to a 70 already, wow. There you go. Deal. I'm, I'm fine with losing Bailey Wright, he's... 28 yeah 28 and 68 rated so and uh i think redding will be happy with getting him as well he's not actually that bad of a player I love players who just instantly uh, tell you uh, what they want. So, four players, and if you add the youth players, that's a lot more than four. <laughs> I just don't bother counting. But I think now our best players are going to grow the most. Well, obviously, these two are going to be our best players for a lot of the season. I think... Corbett may actually uh, get better than uh, Jensen or Jensen by the end of the season, which I love strong defences, but I love strong wings. So, because I'm always a person who like uh, wings, uh, a wing formation, so, you know, but... He's gone, 
he's 19 already, but I don't really mind about that because he's a great player. I don't really mind if he ages a bit. <laughs> and then Tom Holmes, the new lad coming into the squad. And of course, Charlie Kalman, the American striker. So, yeah, pretty strong squad. Not all places are as strong as they could be. Now, actually, I want to um, just win a bit of silverware this season. So, I'm thinking the, like, I, I, because I want to win a bit of, uh, silverware in the first season and the best silverware to win just I was just looking at the uh Carabao Cup and I was like yeah I know what we can win so of course there's a Carabao Cup but we are not winning the Carabao Cup it's the Papa John's trophy so Yep, when do we have our first games? One each month. Actually, there's a lot more uh, squads than I thought, and a lot that could easily win it. But I, I would rather win this than any other. Just because it's easy to win. Like, um, a team who's potentially going to... Uh, win League One, it's going to be able to win the Papa John's Trophy, because is the Papa John's Trophy really that hard? You could say it is, but it definitely isn't. Ouch! Well, not like literally, but I, I mean, in the first round as well, that's just unlucky. And pens. Who did we put in goal? I have no idea. The fuck that is? I, I would have been happy to earn a bit of money off that, but that's just annoying. Okay, Taylor loaned out. No, you cannot. Play in the starting eleven, unless I can train you to actually be able to play in the starting eleven. We already have a much better player to play, and I like players who can actually pass in the midfield. Well, actually, can this player actually pass in the midfield? Yes, he can. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to just be mean to you. I have a feeling it was the reason we lost was because of you, Willis. Girl, Willis. Actually, I'm just being stupid about Willis, but you know, if I put ah. Uh, Courgette and Holmes. Well, I just, I just want to be able to play Courgette and Holmes. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to call him from now. Courgette. Yes, it is true. Oh, his defending stat has gone up. His passing stat's gone up, which I'm happy about. Can I teach Willis to be a fullback? Hope I can, but not sure I can. Now, these videos are either going to be uploaded at the same time or uploaded like 20 million years apart, so. I don't know, if I'm. Because I'm only just thinking about when I'm going to upload these, obviously. So I think Willis. Of I'm like, okay, I think I should upload it on 
Willis stay, but so Willis, what position would he be going? Not in. I I I really don't want to. Hmm. Yeah, it literally wouldn't make a difference other than he's right footed. So there. Well, it also depends on their form. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that they added where um when you uh, train a player it's not only on uh, it's not only on like how different the position is it's also on their current form lead bitter lead biter you can have a time playing i accidentally press the match go that was a mistake uh, why can't it why can't you just be like, oops, no, didn't mean to press that instead of it just forcing you to go into it. Just start the match already. It's not that hard to play a game. O'Breen score. I'm just going to, like, call the players the weirdest I can, like, courgette. I, I don't know what he's actually called. I'm just calling him Courgette because I want to call him Courgette. I want to call him Courgette. La, 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 la. Okay. You'll do for me. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. We're currently in Grr. Swindon and Northampton. I know in uh, Football Manager, Harrison Burroughs is really good potential and he's quite good. Obviously not here. But who cares? No, obviously. Does this? Yes. I want to have a completely young team. Mm. No, I'm not paying any of it. <laughs> but okay, uh, Moller, I really, really, really want this smaller dude. He plays left back. I think left back might actually be one of the few positions which I haven't got a new player for. Yeah, I've got a new player for midfield. Right back, both centre backs, goalie, got a new midfielder, got a new striker, yeah. I, I want a left back. But, oh, but usually. There's this. I know, I, I've. Mm, I wish I could use LaRucci. Maybe, maybe if he doesn't get a new contract, I can get him in at the end of the season. Okay. Oh, that is just. What's the point in that? You 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 go to Stoke and you're like, no, I I want to move now. Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. So, I I I just. I, I will not make, I will not say that one more time, okay? So, sorry, I keep saying that. Uh, I, I, I just want a new defender to, not defender, midfield. Uh, now, that, now that doesn't sound as good. I just want a new 
midfielder to play alongside my good Jensen boy. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. I will stop doing this and I will play the game like a normal person. Uh, I think I might need the wingers, maybe. I will be simming a lot of the games, I'm just telling you now. Just so, any big games, like, games which, uh, just, just any big games, uh, I'll be, okay, yeah, I think Willis keeps getting subbed off because the game thinks that he's not meant to play it right back. So like halfway through the game he's being subbed off because the game thinks he's not meant to play it right back. Okay. Uh the team changes game by game. Uh Oop. Do you wanna play right back? We really, really need someone to play right back. Hmm, actually, how much does the, no, I'm, I'm just going for 900k. This video is quite a bit longer than the last. Oh, God, that's really loud. Nice and of K, no salon claws. I I don't like salon clauses. Eight hundred and fifty K. Will you will you just accept eight hundred K? Yes, eight hundred K. So I think this is good video, long video. So bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely enjoyed making it. Uh, I think that Sunderland is a, like if, I don't think it's a, do you count this as a road to glory? Well, I'm not sure I'd count this as a road to glory, but I'll just count it as a career mode, because I want to have a big career mode with a Premier League team, just so it's easier and I don't have to, like, before the videos, luck up hundreds of players to find uh, younger players that I might want to buy. Well, not always young, but, you know, you know what I mean, just not having to luck up for players that I might want to buy. So, hope you enjoyed today's video, so bye. Hope you enjoyed it.